The Don is with us. The mafioso, the godmother. And uh, at the table, I've at never the sat table. at the table. Yeah, Kelly Hoppin. Kelly Hoppin. <laughs> so good to see you. Design dilemmas. We're going to go to our first caller. Uh, it's Tom in Northampton. Hello, Tom. Morning, Tom. Hi, Alison and um... <laughs> Hey, Tom. Good to have Morning. you with us. So Hi, good Tom. to see you. Who have you got with you, Tom? Tell me who you've got. Introduce us to who you've got in the room. Mum. Stuart and Isaac. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to meet you all. Thank you for calling. So what would you like to... I know you're a massive fan of Kelly's. You love Kelly Hoppen. What would you like to ask her? For some help for my new house. Oh, Ooh. well, I've had a look at your new house and it's absolutely fantastic. And I hear that you love blue, so I've put some ideas together for you which I hope you're going to like. And I just thought it would be quite cool to have two big chairs for you and your mate, like Joey and Chandler in Friends, where you can sit and watch TV. I've got some great lights that I want to put up for you up above, because so you, you've got a really tall ceiling. And I thought, because you love blue, maybe half the wall could be in a paler blue and up above could be slightly darker. It's going to look very, very smart. And in your bedroom, because the kitchen's also a kind of blue-green colour, you can mix all the blues and greens, a bit like the clothes you're wearing. And I think it would look very smart. And because it's a large space, you could get away with two of those very cool chairs and you can sit back, watch mm. the TV. I think it'll be fun. I'm so excited so, for you. Just to give you, uh, our viewers a little bit of uh, background here, Tom's going to be moving into supported living with his friend Isaac, who has Down syndrome, and the pair are very excited, obviously, about moving out and more, living more independently and wanting to decorate their oh. home. So uh, Kelly's got some great ideas there. Also wanted to make it accessible uh, for Tom. But Alison, we've got some great news here, haven't we? We're going to make it happen for you. <gasps> Is that all right? Can we come out and do it for you? All right, if we pick up the bill. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Amazing. Isaac's like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Uh, we're going to come and do this for you, Tom and Isaac, because we want you to have the best home ever. Is that all right? Well, Isaac. Yay. We great. can't wait to meet you. Oh, Lovely to meet you guys. Thumbs up, Isaac. Nice see you to soon. see you. Me and Alison will bring the paintbrushes. Don't worry. <laughs> Take care. Oh, Bye. See you later. Oh, I'm excited about oh, that. Oh, how sweet. Uh, uh, let's go to Sharon, Sharon now. Morning, Sharon. You're in the West Midlands, my hometown. How are you, darling? <laughs> morning. I'm good, thanks. Oh, you? morning, morning. Tell us what you want to ask Kelly. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for taking the call. Um, it's about my fireplace. I don't know if you've seen the, the video that I sent. Yeah. Um, I mean, first it of all, your, your room is amazing. It really, really is. I mean, I love everything oh, that you've done there. But I think that the problem with the fireplace is the colour. So what I would do is actually paint the fireplace black, a matte black, and then maybe put some black slate tiles on the front for the hearth, and that will make it blend in with everything else that you've done. I'll post something up on Instagram afterwards. I've put a board together for you and show you how you can do it. Oh, thank you. I've never thought of black. Wow. Yeah, I'll... I'll... <laughs> Try that. So just a Amazing. lick of black paint. That's a lick it. of black paint. Sometimes the Amazing. smallest little thing can just change a room. Because the fireplace is this kind of yellow wood, it, sits, it stands out because everything else is darker. You mellow it down, put a few towels on the front, boom, it's done. Can we see? Oh, that's up there. That's I amazing. Why are so you the here? The idea would be that, what, to paint the, take, paint the whole hearth? The, 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 mantelpiece. the wood, the wood. the wood which is orange, paint that black, and then you just put the hearth, which is a bit on the floor at yeah. the front, could be just some black slate tiles. You'd only need like four. Sharon, do you use it or is it decorative? No, it's an electric fire, so yeah. I don't use it. It's it, literally, like you say, it's decorative. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering about the mirror then. I painted that bronze. That's so fine. should I paint that black as well? Um, you could do, okay. but I think the bronze is fine. It'll it'll look good against the black. I wouldn't change anything else. OK, then. Great. Good Brilliant. luck with that. Thanks. Good luck and send us a picture. I want to see what Sharon. it looks like. 
Thank well, you. Well, do. Loving your work, Sharon. Thank Come in and take a couple of calls yourself. I like it. Good start. Nice. Don't, uh, <laughs> let's go to... <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> See you Thanks, later, Sharon. Sharon. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, um, Emma's got in touch. We recently had an open plan extension done on our kitchen. The plan is to have new cream kitchen units with a walnut breakfast bar and wood effect tiling on the floor. Nice. We don't know what colour to paint the walls. What can you recommend and will it go with the rest of the kitchen? Well, first of all, it's a fantastic room, but I don't know what cream colour that you've chosen, mm. but I think because the room is so big and you've got so much light in there, again, I would possibly do the walls in a slightly darker cream than your kitchen and then potentially do your ceiling even darker. Because you've got the skylight, it won't actually make anything look smaller. It will, in effect, make it look bigger. Right. And then I would just do wrought iron poles with some nice linen shears or something on either side to warm it up. Nice. So if you've got the space, you've got the light, rather, you, the light, it can handle it. Absolutely. Uh, a there's, there's this sort of fallacy that if you've got a big room, you want to keep it white. If you've got a small room, you can also make it darker to make it cosy. So yeah. if you use colours, different colours on walls to ceilings, it actually makes your eye go up. So it draws the ceiling up rather than bringing it down. Especially wow. with that skylight as it's well. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the Williams household, lastly, looking for storage solutions for their conservatory. Let's take a look at this. Our uh, shoes and coats have taken over our conservatory. I think that's quite a common thing, isn't it? That's our normal. Summer that approaches, is. we want to spend more time in there, limited space because of all the clutter, looking for some storage solutions for the mountains of shoes I and know. coats we have Shoot. and Amazing. free up some space. Please help. So I looked at this and I thought, how can I help? But actually, the most obvious thing is to do a window seat in the bay yeah. and underneath, you put the cushions on it so you can sit on it, but underneath you've got storage for all the That's shoes. That's a good idea. And then where the shoes are, you've got a very limited amount of wall space. You can put hooks up and hang the coats. Yeah. And if there are some big anoraks, maybe in some of the other drawers, you can fold them and put them in, and that way it would keep the space clean. I always wondered when you go to people's houses when they're, they've got nothing around, how they actually do it? Because it's no. all in a cupboard. Yeah. yeah. It's two hours before you get, like, half an hour before you get there. Go, <laughs> Alison's coming around! <laughs> Put the coats away! <laughs> Open it up! When Shut I the when train. Is <laughs> when when <laughs> I go around, everyone's puffing cushions. <laughs> yeah. Do you chop? What do we, we No, you never, ever, chop ever. Chop or no, need the cushion? Never. Normal? Never chop. Oh, you don't like them when you <gasps> chop it? Well, should we be... Oh. How are our cushions looking over there? Are they, are they no, they're right? fine. I might add a chop. No, don't you dare. <laughs> do you chop? Go You're going to Kelly with the chops. <laughs> oh, no chops. It. Look nice. Kelly, thank you so oh, very much. thank you. Great thank you, advice. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh,